daddy. May God bless you, my and my. I love you. Mama, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Dolly. My surname is Kasipe. From? From Tembisa. Mm. So how do you feel, Mama, that today Daddy decided to bless Nana with Ooh, the Oh, I'm feeling happy, happy, happy. Mm. I'm so excited. Amen. Uh -huh. And what is it that you've learned out of what Daddy has done for others? Amen. 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 And Nana, how do you feel? Excited. Mm -hmm. And what would you say to Daddy? He's currently watching this. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Greetings. My name is Michelle Mashishi. This one is my daughter. We would like to say thank you, Daddy, for the jacket that you gave our children. We really appreciate so much. And we would like to say Happy Father's Day. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. And how is this jersey going to help, Mama? It is going to help very much, more especially during this season. It's going to help her, more especially when she goes to school, when they tell them they must wear the, the clothes of the Jewish, you know. Yes, it will help them so much. So we like to thank. Amen. Yes. And Mama, what is it that you've learned from Daddy doing this? Hey, I've learned so much. I've learned so much that giving is the best thing in the world. Mm. Even as we have to give to others when we have it. Mm. So we like to thank very, very much. And we really appreciate everything that it is and for us and our children. Amen. Thank you. Hi, Sugar. Please tell us your name. Hello, my name is Mpama Shishi. Mm -hmm. And thanks to Daddy, how she came, how he gave me a jersey, and thanks to God. Amen. Amen. And how do you feel that Daddy gave you a jersey, and you're gonna be warmed up this winter? I think I love this jersey. When I when it's on Friday, I'm going to wear this yeah. jersey. And Happy Father's Day. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you can say to Daddy? He's watching this. I'm going to say Happy Father's Day. Thank you to everything. How do you give me a JC? And it's so soft. Uh, my name is Julie. I'm the mother of these uh, two kids. We are from uh, Midrand right here. Um, I'm very, very happy for what the Apostle has given us today. We never expected this. I mean, normally when it's Father's Day, we are the ones who are supposed to give, but he's the one who's given, so it's really amazing. Thank you. Amen. Mm -hmm. And... What would you say to Daddy as he's watching this? I would like to say thank you, Daddy, for the gift and uh, what you are doing, have done, and what you are yet to do. We know it is going to change uh, the lives of our children in future. Also, they are going to emulate from you and give as you have given. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And what have you learned from Daddy doing this for everyone, for the kids? Okay. I have learned that love has no boundaries. You give whether young or old, we, we, we have to give regardless to the, to the age. I mean, out of all these people, they chose these little kids. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Mm. And how do you guys feel? Very happy. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel? I feel very happy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. My name is Zoli Swam Sutu. We are so grateful to Daddy on this day of Father's Day. We are so grateful, we are so happy, and my kids are happy. We thank Daddy. Amen. And what is, tell us your name, and how do you feel, ne? What is your name? My name is Ria, and today I feel very happy, and I um, wanted to say thank you for these jerseys. They look so beautiful. Mm. And your name? My name is Ogutle. Um, and how do you feel, Sugar? I'm, I'm so happy. And we thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy, and happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Nozi Pokosa. This is my son, Spulelem Loboti. Um, I'm very excited. I was not expecting. I think it's the that time coming to the church, but for me this is wow. Mm. I just want to say thank you to Daddy for for reminding 
our little ones, it's very, very cold. We really appreciate the love, the efforts. Amen. Thanks. You also just mentioned that it's your third time coming, mm -hmm. right? And how do you feel that it's literally just your third time coming and already you're experiencing this love? Mm. For me, as I've said, it's wow. I feel like this church, it's a loving church. Mm. It's the church that care, the church that love. Amen. And yes, since I've just came, I've also received a lot of blessing on my side, even my family as well. Amen. Yeah. And how would you encourage somebody who's currently watching this? Everything is possible to God. That's what I learned from coming here in this church. Yeah, I've been very blessed so far. I'm happy and I will continue coming Amen. at church. Hi everyone, my name is Charity Mteto. Um, standing in front of me is Ndiamfuna Mteto, is my son. Um, I stay at St. Chirion and I feel so excited. I was actually surprised. I'm like, oh, okay, but I feel so excited. Actually, it's very cold. This winter is very cold. So he's going to wear this when, when he goes to school. Yeah, and thank you so much. <laughs> Yes. And what lesson have you learned out of Daddy, um, you know, giving instead of receiving on Father's Day? Wow, wow. This is actually so beautiful, you know. And I believe that when you are being used by God, you extend your hand mm -hmm. to the needy. You don't just receive. So I've, I've seen this here today. Amen. Yeah. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Tlangelan Malulege. I'm from Pretoria. Um, today I'm grateful for this wonderful gift that our daddy has uh, blessed us with. Um, all I can say is I so wish God can bless daddy more as much as he is blessing us. Amen. I'm very excited uh, and I'm also uh, grateful. Um, I so wish um, these... Sorry. Can it's I start? It's okay. Oh, okay. We're okay. Don't worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm grateful about uh, the, uh, today's opportunity, and then I'm grateful for this opportunity. I wish a happy, happy Father's Day to our dad. Um, uh, I'm also believing that even the kids are excited as much as I am excited with this special gift for winter. As our kids, they didn't have much to wear for winter, so I'm grateful for this. Hi viewers, my name is Charisma. I stay at Clayville Station 45. I call my mom here and my little brother. Thank you so much, Daddy. And how do you feel that Daddy decided to bless you guys with jerseys today? Because he's a giver. Mm. Because I love him so much because oh. he, he done this for a long, long time ago. Yes. I feel excited, happy. Like I'm crazy. Ooh. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Ma, how do you feel? I feel so excited and I'm very much grateful for our hardest father, Daddy. I mean, he's a giver. He has a very good heart. That's why I don't know if it's possible to say the heart giver. I don't know. But then I'm, f I'm so happy and I'm very grateful because uh, it's very cold. And sometimes grow like uh, how when you are a parent, like you have children, you're thinking, oh my God, I have to buy them shoes. The next thing, the shoes is small when you are still planning to buy a jacket. And then, boom, daddy did it on my father's day and we are happy. Amen. And I pray that God may give him more grace to live and mommy as well. We are so grateful for the life. And joining me now is our Sunday school teacher and we're just going to have a little chat and we're going to speak about, you know, what Daddy did for the kids today. Um, Ma'am, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Okay, my name is Shelly Chikani and I reside here in Clayville. Yes, and I'm a Sunday school teacher here in Charis Missionary Church. Okay, so just please tell us a background um, of what really transpired this, this morning when Daddy called you. Uh, okay, I was literally getting myself ready for church when I was called into the man of God's office. And when I got there, he's like, uh, it was a total shock to me because this is something that I had identified on myself and I never shared it with anyone else, with the kids, with regards to the kids not having enough jerseys for winter and what I what I observe when I'm with them in the in the church. So he asked me to gather the kids that are less privileged with their parents and then we hand them out jackets for winter. It was just for particular few boys and girls that I had to gather 
compiled together and then we handed them we handed them out those jackets because it was something that I myself had identified not knowing that one day God will speak through the men of God that mm-hmm. please hand out this kids the jersey so that they'll be warm this winter looking at how cold um Adilam could be can be you find that the kids are cold and they try to just run away from church and play outside to keep themselves warm by just running around and now they have to call them back to church so i'm just so very much grateful for what the man of god has done today and it has brought so much joy to my heart and i i literally just shed a tear when everything was taking place here because i see god in everything i see that god sees god hears even those things that we do not say out aloud god literally hears them and he's able to accomplish that which you do not even think or ask for. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So you mentioned that you'd see, you know, lack within the kids. Can you just give us like maybe a background story regarding that and if you do remember how has it affected, you know, the little ones? Especially cuz, you know, I come to Sunday school, I don't have a jersey, you coming and you have a jersey. There's already that, you know, bit of isolation. Uh, have you identified that within the kids? You know, the kids of Charis are amazing. They they don't isolate each other. Whether they have or they don't have, if the other one doesn't have, they literally sit together and share food, whatever that they have. You'd find that another one who doesn't have a jersey, they give them a a, pull of, a, a fleece to put on. So that's the kind of love I experience when I'm with the kids. That these kids, they've got love for each other. Mm-hmm. If you don't have, they give you a, a fleece. If you don't have, they give you bread. You can never see. It's only me as a teacher as an adult. I can just see that here there's like yes. You know, but with the kids, they do not even isolate each other when it comes to that. And how has it affected you? You know, seeing some of the kids coming to Sunday school and not having jerseys to keep warm. Yo, uh, <laughs> it was just not easy. And I would always say, God, I know that one day you you'll make a solution. Believing that in here in Charis we've got givers, we've got people that see. And also, I was believing God for myself that one day I'll be able to mm-hmm. cater for these kids so that they don't see who has lack. Just like it happened in the book of Acts, they were t- they were the, the church of the the book of Acts were together. They were united. You could not see who was in lack. I believed I was. I had a vision of saying, I know that one day I'll be able to cater for these kids. No one will be able to see that this one lacks and this one doesn't. And I'm very grateful for what the man of God has done today because today the kids are warm. Amen. <laughs> and how do you feel? And what have you learned? Oh, I am very happy. I'm so humbled, and I'm seeing the hand of God here in Charis. I learned that in here we should be people of of one love, mm-hmm. love one another, share with share with each other what we have, and always make sure that we we you know we unite. Amen. And I'm very happy, very excited. Yes. And lastly, uh, what we do is that uh, we do gather here on Saturdays. Well. I usually uh, send out an announcement on the group, on the ladies' group, on that's that's in Charis. I'm I'm sure most of the parents are familiar with it. Uh, that's where most of the activities that are taking p- place here in church are being communicated. So I usually gather with the kids every Saturday, not every Saturday, but I I, I decided that let it be two Saturdays in a month. So we gather from one o'clock until four o'clock. So that's where we gather. We read the Bible. We sing. We play. We just have fun. Please bring your kids to Sunday school. And most importantly, please, when you come to church, allow the kids, those that are able to write, get get them Bibles. Mm. Let them sit where I'm sitting so that they're able to listen to the word of God and write notes. Because on Saturdays, I get to interact with them, asking them, was it that you learned on this particular service that the man of God was teaching about a particular topic? So mm. that's the reason why I'm sitting with them there. I want them to learn the word of God. It was actually Mami's idea. And I'm happy mm. about it because they're able to write notes. They're able to read the Bible. Mm. And on Saturday, we are able to interact on what they learned during that particular service. So please bring your kids and... Honestly, let's have fun. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Thank you, Daddy. 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 Thank you, Daddy.
<laughs> thank you, Daddy. 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 Thank